Hmm. Man, you know, this this is man, this is so is so gripping and it's so compelling because I feel like the things that you are saying and the things that you're pointing out are the things that okay, if you look at it and and Will and I, you know, similar experience most of the circles, especially when when you're talking about um certain types of denominations uh are they're going to be predominantly white. And there's going to mm-hmm. be there's going to be a certain expectation that you are you are welcomed here. Um, but this is the way we do things, you know, and, and it's not said in a way as uh, you can't really be yourself. But there is a little bit of a of a smothering there kind of let's all just kind of melt together and mm-hmm. let's not have these these differences. But here's what I want to ask. What exactly are you saying in this song to the black community? I think I get mm-hmm. what you're saying to the white community. But what specifically are you saying to the black community? Is there something that we may be missing as we listen to it? Yeah, that's a very good question. I'm glad you actually asked that. Uh, I think we need to, the black community in particular, when you say that, I'm specifically thinking of black people who attend churches, even those who attend churches where they may be the minority in those churches. Mm-hmm. Um, what I, what I want to do is, what, I, what I'm saying is, look, we need to be able to be honest mm-hmm. with uh, the, uh, like if it's white people in your church, because that's really the racial character. Let's just keep it one fifty. It's not like it's you know you know uh, it's not always black and Asian. It's black and white. That's the real racial tension historically. So true. when we're talking about racism, the first thing that comes to your mind is white and black. So when you're black, I think in your believer, I think that you're not. I don't think you're helping the church by not being able to have honest conversations about some of those struggles. Mm-hmm. So it's not like if you're the minority, then the church has to all of a sudden go go gospel with it as if, like, they got to serve you. But they need to know, like, okay, we're the majority in this situation. We can just think like everyone thinks like us. But now I know that they may look different, but they're not assimilating. Like, it's not the gospel isn't about assimilation to the minority majority culture in the church. Come on. So I think, I think black people have to be willing to say, be honest and say, you know, I'm here because I want to be here. That's just like like I was. I was at the predominantly white church. I'm here because I want to be here. Mm-hmm. But but there are things that uh, that are challenging for me to be here. And I think you need to be aware of some of those yeah. things so that you can you can walk together and have real fellowship. Yeah, Amen. that's good because I, I you know I've experienced that also. It seems like there's a, a a sense of wanting to have. Uh, uh, assimilation instead of true integration where you mm-hmm. your, your culture is celebrated too like you it's almost like no we want you to leave that out you know mm-hmm. and, and assimilate and be like us you know but man you know it, it's it's much more rich to have me with my culture you know mm-hmm. uh not the yeah, sin, not not anything sinful in, in that, that's in the culture but i mean me and my uh holy culture you know mm-hmm. integrated into that setting also and i think that's where we miss it because Either way, we want the other person who's the minority to be like the us. majority, yeah. Like, the, yeah, like the majority. Like the majority. This is true, right? So let me ask you this: What are some of the things in in your experience? Because truly, I think I, I read somewhere that you were the the first person to rap at John Piper's church. Is that right? I was. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, man, what kind of stares did you get? <laughs> you know what's funny was um, John Piper is such a go hard dude. He probably he probably if I believed in karma and all that stuff, he'd have been black in a past life. Come on, like John John Piper goes hard. So I remember when right before the actual uh, concert that I did, like I did the concert and I rapped. They, I was just doing a concert there. The worship leader asked me to actually do a song during the worship setting. So I was wow. kind of shocked by that. Okay, so. John Piper comes up to me. He, he's explaining how he thinks the, the day is going to go, and he says, "Hey, I think some people, I think this will be good for people who need to experience this." And so, I, I looked at my DJs and I said, "Man, y'all boys ready to be Rosa Parks?" <laughs> so, um, so you know, we you know we laughed. And we, we did it, and I felt like the feedback was really good from John Piper and his church, mm-hmm. but it kind of broke into a hailstorm of criticism from different people and so i kind of really when i was my name was voice back then i kind of really mm-hmm. opened the door for reform rap to get into those circles wow because they they That's hadn't huge. heard of lecrae or flame or, or mm-hmm. shy Lynn, none of them sure they hadn't heard of them in fact shy was responding to the to the blogs and telling me what was going on 
because they didn't know who he was. I had kind of opened the door for that world, the, wow. the Gospel Coalition T4G world, to even know what is reform rap. Wow. Hmm. So it was it was kind of crazy, but the wow. response was good. And I think there's a lot of white people who really understand, like, in order for us to, because this is the thing, here's what you got, white people, this is what you need to understand if you're listening. Uh-huh. It's, 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 it's simply this. We, we can't just be like, we accept you, because that's insufficient. If we're the body of Christ, then it needs to be go from we accept you to we need you. Mm. We need what you bring to the table, mm. because we agree with Scripture. We agree with First Corinthians 12, mm. that this is the, the body of Christ. And so you're going to bring things that are uncomfortable for me, that are different from me, but are necessary for me, because Christ not only does He save us, those cultures will be in heaven. You look at Revelation 7, Mm -hmm. every nation, every tongue, every tribe is going to glorify God. It's not going to be a white world up there. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be English that we're speaking. So (laughs) it's just a sense where we need to, if now, if possible, if possible, because not every church can be multiracial, but Mm -hmm. every church can have multiracial hearts, though. Setting a standard in Christ. Setting a standard in Christ. Urban Family Talk.